Hello, I'm Brian Painter of the Oklahoma, and today I'm joined by Jane Giroux. Uh Jane, we're just going to kind of go back to 1967. Okay. And uh, talk about, you know, not only when you were Miss America, but uh, a specific trip that year. And it's something that you told me is probably one of the, you know, things that stands out the most to you about that year as Miss America. And if you will, kind of tell me about that trip and how it came to be. Well, it's the most significant. Uh, event that happened to me uh, following becoming Miss America. And I really feel like that in many ways it was one of the reasons that I was allowed that experience and it was going to Vietnam to entertain the U.S. military troops. Um, I grew up in a very patriotic family. Uh, my father was in the Navy in World War II and I had lots of uncles and they all served as well. And I grew up with this um, attachment to an entertainer named Jane Froman. And she was very famous for a movie called With a Song in My Heart. And it was about her entertaining as a USO performer. And I was just so attached to that movie and always thought, I just thought service in the military for our country was just the greatest sacrifice. And if I could do something, that that would just have the, uh, a great call on my life. And so when I became Miss America, of course, it was a very controversial time in terms of uh, the Vietnam War. At every press conference, they would ask me, what did I think of the Vietnam War? Well, I didn't know what, I didn't know really what I thought. You know, I'd, I'd been majoring in music in Oklahoma. I was 19 years old. And, but I did know that I supported our troops who were there. And so I don't even remember what I would, I would answer. But then they'd say, would you like to go? And I would always say yes. And so the Miss America pageant really heard that. I never asked them about going. I just kept responding in, in an affirmative way. And so about springtime, they said, we are planning, we will let you go to Vietnam. We'll put together a show and it will be just the Miss Americas and some state queens, Miss Maine, Miss Alabama, a good cross section of the country. And so they put us together, created a nice little show. And in August, off we went to Vietnam for about two weeks. It was life changing, you know, it just not very many women our age got to see war up close and personal. And of course, it was our cousins and our friends from college and uh, our brothers uh, who were there, you know, boys and, and, and some women just like us who had been snatched from their life in America, a life that we take so for granted and plop down in this, this jungle, this place that you hardly recognize the enemy and, and then to get no support from home. You know, of course they're families, but it was such an unpopular war and uh, they didn't want to go. You know, they just, they did what they were asked to do. And, and it, was, it was a horrible place. It was just a horrible place. And we were thrilled to be there. Uh, because they were so happy to see us. You stood on a lot of stages that year throughout the United States, but standing on those stages over there, what did you see? What did you feel? Oh, gosh. <laughs> you know, I just can't talk about it without being emotional. Um, it was just a sea of GIs, and they would wait for hours to see our show. And sometimes it would just be sweltering, the heat. Sometimes it would be pouring down rain. And uh, there were just, it would seem like there would be miles. The audience went on for miles. And when possible, we would stand on the stage afterwards and shake every hand that we could. Because they had waited sometimes for 24 hours <laughs> to see our show. Just because, not because we were great performers, right. we were a piece of home. You, a second ago, mentioned they were our cousins. And, and that wasn't just a broad term for you. No. Your cousin was actually... He was there, Mike Smith from Turpin, Oklahoma. Played football, six-man football. Or is it seven-man, Brian? Yeah. <laughs> Six-man in Texas, eight-man in Oklahoma. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> the smaller. That's right. And then went to OU and uh, then got shipped off to Vietnam. And uh, Mike was there and they called him. He tells, it was a funny story in hindsight, 
but he was in the ditches somewhere and he said, you know, just filthy dirty. They'd been out and he got a call. He had no idea what was going on and he got a call. Um, they pulled him back into camp and cleaned him all up and, and then there we were. One last question. You, you talked about having friends. Uh, one of your fellow uh, uh, contestants that, that was there, uh, you said that she knew a young man and uh, I can't remember which state she was from. Tennessee. Okay. I think this sticks out in my memory so much because it was like the second day we were there and we visited a hospital in Saigon. Vicki Heard from Tennessee and we went into the hospital and there was one of her former classmates, uh, I think at the University of Tennessee. And he was great guy, you know, big, good looking uh, former student at the University of Tennessee and just a few days earlier he had lost both legs. And so, you know, that a lot of people, a lot of young men uh, lost their lives, paid the ultimate sacrifice in Vietnam, but so many were forever changed in the loss uh, of their life and emotionally were forever changed. And so that sacrifice and then to come home and not be appreciated. And what's so great about today is even though it's late, I think so many people are saying thank you. Thank you for what you did. Thank you for your service. Thank you for uh, your patriotism to this country. And thank God we feel that way currently about those who are serving today. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Brian.